I remember when I was 11, my first week at secondary school, I had an awful biology teacher at the front of the class stood up and said, whose book is this? (sighs) And I sort of sheepishly put my hand up and she flung the book at me, said, I cannot read your writing. Is it two spiders copulating? on a page, which was quite shocking, really, <laughs> yeah. for an 11-year-old. And she made me stand up and read it out. That 11-year-old dyslexic grew up to be a successful criminal barrister. Hi, everyone. My name is Matthew Head, and I'm the host of The Dyslexia Life Hacks Show, the podcast where I get to know the people behind the word dyslexia. Are you like I once was, where I'd limit my potential because I believed I couldn't achieve as much as I'm a dyslexic? Do you care for somebody who has dyslexia and would like to understand them better? Steve Jobs and Richard Branson always felt really alien to me as these super successful people while I'm struggling with dyslexia working in a manual job. Having gone through a university degree later on in life, now I have a successful professional engineering career. I don't want other people to go down the path that I had to go down. And that's the reason I've set this podcast up. On a two-weekly basis, I take a deep dive with a person who is dyslexic or linked to the dyslexic industry to understand their personal stories of how they see life, achieve things, and the struggles they've had to go through to inspire other people and build a better understanding of what it's like to be a dyslexic person and what it's like to achieve in high-level careers like law, engineering, librarians, building assistive technology, and acting and race car driving. Subscribe on your favorite platforms and join me on the journey.